we discuss some misconceptions in textbooks. This video is a continuation. The link to our last video is given below in the description box. So, let's start correcting some more misconceptions. Number one, there is no gravity in space. Why do astronauts float in the International Space Station? Most of us would say that there is no gravity in space. You might have learned about Newton's universal law of gravitation. The gravitational force between two objects. F is equal to g of 1, m2, divided by r squared. Here, g is the gravitational constant. m1 and m2 are the masses of the two objects. And r is the distance between them. When the mass of two objects increases, the gravitational force between them increases. As the distance between them increases, the gravitational force decreases, but it never becomes zero. If we take the case of the International Space Station, it's only 400 kilometers away from the Earth. It takes 90 minutes to revolve around the Earth. Not only space stations, but also satellites and the Moon, which is 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth, are in the gravitational field of the Earth. But why don't they fall back down to Earth? Actually, they are always falling freely towards the Earth. An object experiences free fall when it falls under the sole influence of gravity without encountering air resistance. But because of the higher sideways velocity of the space station and the curvature of the Earth, the space station moves without falling down. The International Space Station has a sideways velocity of 20 to 8,000 kilometers per hour. When the space station is attracted towards the center of the Earth, it also has a sideways velocity at a direction of 90 degrees to the gravitational pull. So, it can move about the Earth's curvature, missing the Earth's surface each moment. Now, why do the astronauts in the International Space Station float? They experience 90% of the gravity that we experience here on Earth. The astronauts also experience free fall, just like in space stations, and sideways velocity. The sideways velocity and downwards force are almost equal. So, astronauts float in space stations. The Earth is also freely falling towards the Sun. But it's moving along the curvature of the sun at a speed of 30,000 kilometers per hour. Since there is a balance between the gravitational pull and the speed of the Earth, it can revolve around the sun in a definite orbit. This is the same case with on any object revolving around another object in space. Camels store water in their humps. They don't actually store water in their humps, but fat. They can use this fat when there is a food scarcity in the desert. When there is the availability of water, camels drink a lot of water and store it in their first stomach or rumen. They can drink almost 115 liters of water in 10 minutes. This water reaches the bloodstream, taking several hours. In most animals, red blood cells can expand up to 150% to hold water. But in camels, red blood cells can expand to 240%. This helps them to hold more water and prevent dehydration. When blood vessels become narrow due to dehydration, their small oval-shaped red blood cells can travel easily to the bloodstream. Also, they start sweating when the atmospheric temperature reaches about 42 degrees Celsius. So, Camels can live without water for a long time, not because they store water in their humps, but due to the effective utilization of the available water by their body. Chameleons change color to camouflage, but chameleons change color to regulate body temperature and to communicate with the other chameleons, not for camouflage. They can change their body color to be dark or light according to the temperature and light of the surroundings. 
For that, they can move the nanocrystals in the cells below the skin and change the spacing between them. They act as prisms and reflect light of different wavelengths. Thus, we can see different colors. There are many misconceptions in science. Today, I have discussed about some of them. Comment some other misconceptions that you may know. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned for the next video.